I started out by attacking the New York Times, and I'd like to finish off by attacking the New York Times because they stink. Uh, they did something, I guess it was uh, September 12th, so it's yesterday. Uh, there's a new comedian who has been named as one of the newest Saturday Night Live cast members. And I'm sure you can understand that that, in the life of a young comedian, is one of the great days of his life, right? This is a wonderful, wonderful thing that happens. The New York Times, is, in a story written by Nancy Coleman, runs a story saying, a comedian named on Thursday as one of the newest Saturday Night Live cast members made racist remarks mocking Chinese people and used a racial slur in a podcast episode last year. The comments were uncovered by a comedy journal. Journalist. We, that's something we really, really need. We really need comedy journalists to uncover funny things that people said. That's, you know, that's really important. It, it came out several hours after NBC announced that the comedian Shane Gillis, 31, would be joining the cast along with two other performers, one of them the show's first Chinese-American player. Unbelievable. This is an unbelievable piece of cruelty and nonsense that the New York Times would essentially join with these Twitter buffoons who go on and hunt up things when some guy wins the Heisman Trophy or wins an award or gets a part uh, or is going to host the Oscars and they dig up these things that they can skew to look like he's a bad guy, they look like he said something. You know, the comedian's job is making fun of people. It's making jokes about people. It's making stupid jokes. It's making silly jokes. Making jokes the rest of us wouldn't make. It's doing all those things. So Shane Gillis, when he did this, was doing his job. The people who were reporting on this were supposed to be reporting on important things that matter to us in life and matter to the good and furtherance of our republic are not doing their jobs when they do this. This is just, it's just made to make people afraid of disagreeing and people are afraid and they are succeeding in this and shame on them. Shame on them. It's a disgusting thing to do to a young man at this moment in his, his career. If he had killed somebody, yes. If he had buried a body in his backyard, yes. That he made jokes about Chinese people. That's We live in this wonderful multicultural, multi-ethnic uh, society. We should be making jokes about one another. It's a great way to dispel hostility, and it's also part of the comedy of being here. And I just want to remind you, I just want to remind you that the New York Times, uh, just last month, just in August, ran this story complaining a loose network of conservative operatives allied with the White House is pursuing what they say will be an aggressive operation to discredit news organizations deemed hostile to President Trump. Remember this? They went on, hey, let's play the guy. Play the guy, uh, Jeremy Peters, I think his name was, who wrote this story and what he was complaining about. This is just the latest uh, escalation under a president who has called the media the enemy of the people. And what that has effectively done is embolden the president's allies, this group of people who are connected to Donald Trump Jr., to start looking at the online histories going back, in some cases more than a decade, of journalists who, in some cases, don't even cover this administration. And what they've done is they've tried to pull embarrassing things, find unflattering things <clears throat> in the social media histories of these journalists. And I'm talking about journalists at the nation's top news organizations, like the New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, entities which have already been targeted by these conservative allies of the president's. And what they do uh, is they publicize unflattering things that they found in these social media histories when they want to retaliate against a, an outlet for publishing a story that is unflattering to the president. So what you have here really is, is something very different from what basic journalism is. <laughs> it's very different from what... So they don't like it when it happens to them, and of course they don't like it when it happens to them, but it's okay when it happens to this young man who's never done anything to anybody, who got a big break in life. It doesn't matter when they do it to Kevin Hart, whose dream was to host the Oscars, and they chase them out. It's, it is just absolute rank, stupid cruelty. And if that's what your leftist philosophy turns you into, you should change your philosophy. Look in the mirror and change your philosophy because that's a skanky thing to do and shame on the New York Times. Before you go, one last thing. Hit the subscribe button so that you stay up to date on all our content.